Hello dear friends, welcome to my channel. So far we have discussed about so many triangles. Today we are going to discuss about the delta pectoral triangle. So before going to explore this video, please subscribe to my channel. So the triangular area which is present between the two muscles called as pectoralis major and the deltoid muscle. So the triangular area which is present between the clavicular fibers of the pectoralis major and the clavicular fibers of deltoid muscle. So here you can identify the triangular area which is present between the clavicular fibers of pectoralis major and the clavicular fibers of deltoid. And the base is formed by the junction between medial two-thirds and lateral one-third of the clavicle. And apex is formed by the fusion of the two muscles. So the pectoralis major which is running laterally and reaching to the lateral lip of intertubercular sulcus and the anterior fibers of deltoid which are running down and then it is running laterally and these fibers are going to fuse with the lateral fibers of deltoid. So here we can identify which is going to form the lateral boundary. Lateral boundary and this is the medial boundary. So once again let me show you this two muscles pectoralis major and the deltoid. So medial you can identify the pectoralis major and lateral you can identify the anterior fibers of deltoid and this is the base and this is the apex. Now what are the contents of this delta pectoral triangle? So you need to remember two contents one is cephalic vein cephalic vein then the deltoid branch of thoracoacromial artery deltoid branch of thoracoacromial artery so thoracoacromial artery which is a branch of second part of axillary artery and it is giving four branches in that four branches the deltoid branch which is running in this deltopectoral groove so you need to remember two con uh, contents one is cephalic vein and the deltoid branch of thoracoacromial artery and sometimes you may identify some lymph nodes and you need to remember this cephalic vein as cephalic vein is draining the venous blood from the upper limb and any if any lymph nodes got swollen lateral group of lymph nodes you may see if any infection is present in this upper limb so the primary group is the lateral group of lymph nodes which will be swollen in the infection of upper limb so that is about the importance of delta pectoral triangle dear friends see you soon with a new class thanks for watching